Hello everyone, my name is Katerina, I am one of the guides from Terrazzo and today I'm here to answer a, a question that you made, that is what is the evolutionary difference between whales and dolphins? So when we answer this question actually, first we need to consider whales and dolphins all together as part of the cetaceans group and when we say whales we mean baleen whales, so that means the mysticeti group and uh, when we say dolphins, we are mostly considering the odontoceti group. So that those are not just dolphins, but also the whales with teeth. So cetaceans arose about 50 million years ago from a common ancestor that was thought to have been a wolf-like creature that was close to an artiodactyl. And artiodactyls are even-toed hoofed mammals that we know nowadays from giraffes and goats, for instance. And um, actually, the closest modern relative to cetaceans are hippos or hippopotamus. So, the evolution of uh, cetaceans has involved three major stages that we need to be aware of. The first stage was during the Eocene, which was 45 to 53 million years ago. And that was the time when the first archaeocets uh, started showing up. So, those are the most primitive whales and they are the ones that came uh, from that uh, wolf-like mammal that lived in warm and shallow waters of the Teti Sea. Then the second stage uh, that was very important was during the Oligocene, which was from 25 to 35 million years ago. And uh, that was when the first radiation of Mysticeti and Odontoceti uh, groups uh, started. So here we started seeing the development of some characteristics like the echolocation, for the Odontoceti or the development of baleen plates for the Mysticeti. And finally, the uh, last stage that we need to take into account was the Miocene, which was 12 to 15 million years ago. And that was when uh, there was the development of the modern delphinoids and balanopteroids. So that means the dolphins and uh, the baleen whales. So the first true baleen whales actually showed up after the radiation of the Odontoceti and the Mysticeti because uh, the first um, Mysticeti animals had baleens and teeth. So because the ancestor had teeth, they evolved baleens from teeth. So the first, um, uh, first animals had teeth with some characteristics already of baleen plates and then there was a stage of somewhat in the middle and then the first uh, truly baleen plates uh, showed up only in the late Oligocene, which was, was in the late Oligocene. Another very interesting thing to know is that the Physiteridae family, so that is the modern uh, sperm oil, has, has a very uh, rich uh, fossil record that actually shows that they started uh, differentiating before the modern dolphins and whales. So the first whale, uh, sperm whale showed up about 21 to 16 million years ago during the late Miocene. So they are one of the most uh, ancient whales, so to say, that we can see nowadays. So, dolphins from uh, the Delphinida family, so that mainly includes the common dolphins and those that we think of uh, the traditional dolphin. Um, although the oldest one is supposed to be 11 million years old, the best documented ones, so both by fossil records and molecular data, so they are the ones we can be most sure about, are only about 5 million years old. So that's not that old uh, at all if you think about evolutionary scale, and so that would place them into one of the most recent uh, animals do we know about the cetacean group. So of course all of this is very, uh, actually very hard to, to answer because there's no more evolved or less evolved, they're just being uh, evolved earlier or later in the, in the scale, uh, but um, in the middle of all of the controversy, sperm whales and uh, also beaked whales are thought to have been one of, of the most primitive uh, cetaceans that we have around, and in general, uh, Odontoceti came before the Mysticeti. So this involved a lot of ages and dates, but I hope it has answered your question. Uh, it was really nice researching it and go back into the books. So feel free to ask any more questions that you have in the comments below or in any of our social media. Thank you.